Welcome back to the program. Now, Ghana has decriminalized the use of cannabis for health and industrial purposes. Now, this is after Parliament passed the Narcotics Control Commission Bill 2019 on Friday, 20th March 2020. The new law empowers the Ministry of Interior to grant license for the cultivation of cannabis for of not more than 0.3% THC. Uh, THC is the main psychoactive compound in cannabis that gives uh, users a high sensation it is for industrial and medicinal purposes. Now, the law also makes the country's uh, Narcotics Control Board a commission with enhanced powers to oversee the industrial use of some narcotic substances. I have in the studios with me Nanajiman to talk about the use of cannabis after it was legalized by Parliament, waiting for an accent by the President. Welcome to our studio, sir. Thank you very much. Cannabis has finally been decriminalized. What's your take on that? Well, I'm happy you've used the word decriminalized because that's all that's happened. Um, and we need to understand what has actually taken place. Uh, a lot of people are talking and, and making a lot of uh, negative sounds about what has happened without actually understanding what it is that has actually taken place. And we have a situation here where um, cannabis sativa, industrial hemp, right. is what has been decriminalized and in fact declassified. And when we talk about the 0 0.3 THC, which is the tetrahydrocannabinol, which you so quite rightly uh, spoke about in terms of um, the, po the possibilities of it making people mm. high, this is something that has been sanctioned by the World Health uh, Organization. It's also been sanctioned by the UN. It's a standard that is applied across the world. I've heard some learned people uh, say that 0.3% will cause people a problem. Uh, and I want uh, Ghanaians to understand today that industrial hemp is not the Indian hemp that we keep referring to. It's not the same at all. It's the same species. You can call it a brother or a sister if you like, mm -hmm. but no one smokes hemp. No one smokes industrial hemp. Uh, industrial hemp is used for um, producing hempcrete, of which you can build this studio with. It produces cotton, which is stronger than cotton that we know. Okay. It produces wood. You can make biofuel out of it. You can produce biofuel out of it. You can produce cosmetics, shampoo, uh, you know, and uh, other cosmetics mm -hmm. to have a shower and perfume and all that kind of right. stuff. The last thing you will do with industrial hemp is smoke it. It doesn't have enough THC in there for anyone to indulge themselves in smoking it who would may believe that they will get a high. Industrial hemp does not have that high THC. What's, what's the threshold of THC that should make somebody high? I would imagine from about 5% upwards that would make someone high. But that's THC that's not contained in industrial hemp. And the law that has been passed, the bill that has been passed, mm -hmm. has only focused on industrial hemp. It's not focused on anything else. Uh, people have said that um, this, this bill going through would mean that farmers would grow industrial hemp and then push marijuana in between and grow that too. I, I want Ghanaians to understand that this is a fallacy. It's falsehood. It's misinformation because if you don't know about cross-pollination, then you have no rights even talking about cannabis. And I want to let you know that if I grow hemp here in Accra mm. and you grow marijuana 50 miles away or let's say 40 miles away, the pollen from the industrial hemp will be blown across to your farm okay. and it will destroy your crop. It will mean that the marijuana that you have cultivated is no longer useful as, as, a, as, a, as a, a narcotic drug, if you like, when you smoke it because instead of producing the buds that people use not only for smoking but to extract the oils and make serious mm -hmm. medicine out mm. of it would only produce buds that would have seeds it would have no use at all the industrial hemp 
produces buds that has seeds. Now, and, health, health and, aspects. And let me say this, mm. and let me say this too, sorry to cut you, uh, is that industrial hemp grows 16 feet tall. Meanwhile, marijuana grows about five or six feet tall. So the tall. difference is clear. It's, it's a huge difference. And, and also, um, no one smokes the leaves of marijuana or industrial hemp. You smoke the buds. So this is not an issue of, oh, the law has said you can grow industrial hemp and now people are going to be smoking the leaves of industrial hemp. That's not the case at all. Nobody smokes industrial hemp. Industrial hemp is as it says it is. It's for industrial use only. only. You believe that the misunderstanding is from pure ignorance? Uh, the, the misunderstanding is, is because of a lack of information, a lack of research. Um, I don't want to say it's pure ignorance. Of course, one can use that if one wants. But it's because media houses like yourself won't allow people who are in support of what government is doing a significant time to educate uh, the rest of, but of Metro, Ghanaians Metro TV about is, it. But is doing that, aren't we? Let me ask you this. <laughs> Health experts say they are concerned that the decriminalization of industrial hemp could increase the use of narcotics in the country. That, once again, that's another fallacy. What we have to understand is this, is that as we sit and speak now, there are people, there are farmers who are growing marijuana right now. And the positiveness, the positivity of what comes out of this bill is that those farmers will stop being on the illegal side of the law and will now become legal because they will cultivate something that so um, the stop, ministry, they will stop, they will marijuana stop growing farms. marijuana. They will stop growing marijuana and they will now start growing industrial hemp. Are there other types of cannabis? forms yeah. of cannabis. Yeah, there are, there are now, several you mentioned types. cannabis sativa, yes. that it has 0.3 THC, which is not harmful uh, to smoke and which will be used for the industrial and health purposes. What about the other types of cannabis? Well, you say it, it's not harmful. There's no cannabis that is harmful. There is no cannabis that is harmful at all. This is another great fallacy that has been spread around to conjure up fear and panic. Look, People smoke cannabis all over the world. And I wonder that in Holland, where they set up these cafes right. two decades ago, three decades ago, why don't we hear about people over there suffering mm. su from psychosis, yet we are pushing that type of message out to the population here in Ghana that if people smoke weed, they develop psychosis. Why are we pushing these type of blatant lies around the place when it is not true? 2.5 million people smoke marijuana in Ghana, 2.5. I don't see 2.5 million people walking around the streets mad. of Ghana, and, 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 and they're mad. I don't see it okay. at all. Now, Najman, our time is quite limited, but let me, let me ask you this. Do you think the ordinary Ghanaian, the average Ghanaian on the street, to be able to differentiate between the bats of cannabis and the bats of marijuana? As you say, it is the bats that we smoke. Well, I can't differentiate between the exhaust and something else in my car because that I'm not a specialist. And, and to, to ask whether or not ordinary people will be able to do that, you know that, that the answer to that is no. But how relevant so is that question? Doesn't it make how relevant the, is that, that? Hold on for me. Doesn't it make the, the concern that the health authority, the mental health authority has, doesn't it legitimize it? It doesn't legitimize it at all because are we suggesting that everybody is now going to get up and grow industrial hemp? That's not the case. We're talking about a bill that has gone through a process in Parliament mm. and has been passed. And before that bill, before that bill can actually take root and people start growing industrial hemp, there has to be regulations. There has to be strict regulations that monitor and take on and take on a big brother approach and look what everybody is, is dealing with. Everyone would have to comply. You have to apply for a license. Okay. You have to meet the criteria for the license. Mm. And then Big Brother will be monitoring what you're doing. So it doesn't legitimize it at all. It's another one of those misinformation, okay. another one of those fallacies That's fine. designed to create fear and panic in our society.
Now, Najma, thank you so much for coming. We find time and engage you more on the issue concerning the legalization, if you like, the decriminalization of industrial health. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much. Nanajiman is the person I was speaking with concerning the decriminalization of industrial hemp. We have business news coming to you after this. It's brought to you by MT and 4G+. And that's our Draw the Curtains down on Newsnight this evening. Thank you so much for watching the program on behalf of the entire Newsnight production team. Thank you for watching. My name is Noble Crosby and have a good night. Goodbye.